We actually started working on this idea that became Wigs way before Google was moved on their channels. Uh, John and I uh, had a meal about maybe three years ago and talked generally about this idea that the web would be a great place for shorter subjects to play and, and certainly shorter subjects that are about women that we thought was underserved on the web. And, you know, things that were ideas that were not really suitable for big budget films, were not really good for, you know, were not a play, were not a TV show or a cable show. They would be their own particular thing that would play on the internet in smaller installments. Uh, where are you going? Your next date is at your table. Yeah, I know. I have to go. Someone better be dying, Christine. No one is dying. We talked about this. I know. I have to go. Not again, please. I'm not making a scene. I just have to go. We pitched our ideas around town. We did our dog and pony show. And there was interest, but there's always been a lot of uncertainty. You know, how, how will this play? How will this be monetized? How will people get to it? And then the tablets came out, you know, the iPad. And that was an explosion. And I think, uh, you know, a lot of the people we had talked to before who were not unenthusiastic but didn't know how it could be, started getting very interested. So by the time we hooked up with Google, we had a lot of the material already developed. I think what's happening technologically is it's forcing, you know, creative people to think more creatively and, um, you know, and business people to think more creatively. But I think the work is always just the same. It's about good work. It's about good writing, about a good group of people who have an important story that means something to them. And just because it's on the internet doesn't mean that it's less important or less meaningful to the people who are telling the story or that it won't connect because it's not, you know, on a TV screen or on a movie screen. Thanks for that. It was really nice talking to you. And I will never for the life of me understand why a woman like you has to come to things like this because men should be knocking down your door. Oh, thank you. You too. I mean, not men. <laughs> As technology advances, society is always so quick to kind of turn turn its nose up and say, oh, well, that's not a real form. You know, the way movies were, a, you know, a lesser form to the theater. And, you know, I think that the internet is certainly challenging the status quo of, of what's what's considered art and what's considered, you know, um, just playing around. So.